Hi, this tutorial covers a specific type of graph called the box and whisker plot. So let's start off with a situation. My wife and I are planning for our upcoming trip to Alaska and are interested in the gas prices up there. Um, I was able to find current gas prices from 23 gas stations in Anchorage, Alaska. We're going to be spending some of our trip in Anchorage, Alaska, and we're going to be doing a lot of driving. So I was interested in these prices. Um, and the, all these prices came off of a website called automotive.com. Um, so we can see they're all in order here. Um, they range from $3.90. These are all in dollars per um, gallon. And the most expensive gas um, was $4.12. Um, so what I did next was found the five number summary for the gas data. So the minimum was 390, maximum was 312, uh, median was 396, Q1 was uh, 394, Q3 was $4. Okay, so the, the five number summary then can be used um, can be used to make a common type of graph called the box and whisker plot. So before you make a box and whisker plot, you always need to find the five number summary. So the box and whisker plot, or just box plot, is a type of graph where a box is drawn from the first to the third quartiles, and whiskers extend from the quartiles to the maximum and the minimum. So it extends from the third quartile to the maximum, and then another whisker goes from the first quartile down to the minimum. So an axis should be always drawn prior to making a box plot. Okay, so I'm going to make a box plot for the gas data. So I, I've reproduced the five number summary here. Um, so what I want to do is, like I said, start by making an axis. Okay, so I'm going to draw my axis here. We're going to be making the box plot above the axis. So when you're drawing this on your own, make sure you leave some space above the axis. Okay, and I need to scale my axis. So I know that my smallest value is $3.90, and I know my largest value is $4.12. So I would say a good scale would be by maybe nickels, so five cent, a five cent scale. Um, and then maybe I'd start at 385, and then I'd end at uh, 415. Okay, so I'm gonna just start by making my tick marks. I'm making them a half inch apart. I like to use a ruler anytime I'm um, making an axis. I don't know if I'll need all these tick marks, but um, that's what I'll start with. So this will be 385, um, 390. This will be four dollars. I'll just four dollars ten cents, four dollars twenty cents. Okay, and I could go out to here to 430, but I don't really need to. Okay, um, so this represents gas prices. And the units here are dollars per gallon. OK, so now I'm going to go about um, making my box and whisker plot. So I said that the box portion of the box and whisker plot goes from Q1 to Q3. OK, so Q1 is at $3.94. So that's going to be slightly to the left of 395. Okay, so I'm going to make a vertical bar there. And Q3 is at $4, so I'm going to make a vertical bar here. Okay, and then I'm going to connect them to make a box or a rectangle. Okay, now the median always goes through kind of the middle of the box, um, wherever, wherever it matches up. So the median is $3.96. So I'm going to draw a vertical line that represents the median right through this box. Okay, So that's my median. Um, if your median happens to be the same as Q1 or Q3, then you don't draw on this line. It'll just be assumed that the, the median is, is um, right on top of either Q1 or Q3. OK, now I need um, two whiskers. So I need a whisker going from Q1 down to the minimum. And I need a whisker going from Q3 out to the maximum. Okay, so let's do the lower whisker first. So that's going to go out to 390. So I like to draw it coming right out of the middle of the box. Okay, and kind of like so. And then I'll put a little hash mark here at the, at the end at the minimum of 390. Okay, and now my maximum, 
needs to go out all the way to 412. So that's be a little past 410. Okay, and again, I'll make a little hash mark here to represent the minimum. Okay, so that is my box and whisker plot for the gas data. Okay, just to recap, um, the box goes from Q1 to Q3. The median goes through on the inside of the box, and then your whisker goes from um, Q1 to the minimum, and then the upper whisker goes from um, Q3 to the maximum. Um, if, if it happens that your minimum and your Q1 are the same, you're not going to have a lower whisker, so it would just end up looking like that. If Q3 and your maximum were the same, then you're not going to have an upper whisker. Okay, so you would just leave that off. Okay, so that is just how to make a box plot. Now let's take a look at, let's just interpret another box plot here. So we will also be visiting Fairbanks, Alaska on the trip, so another town in Alaska. Um, the, a comparative box can be used to compare the prices of gas in Anchorage and Fairbanks. Okay, so what I did is I produced a comparative box plot. Sometimes this is called a... Um, or it's just called a, a comparative box plot. Um, notice um, for Anchorage, that looks pretty similar to the one I, co I constructed. Um, it's a little thinner here. And um, on this, it placed the values above, um, the values of the five number summary above the box plot. Now, if you look at Fairbanks, um, Fairbanks had made this box plot. Okay, you'll see that the a median isn't represented. Um, and the reason for that is because the median was the same as Q1. So there's really almost like two lines right on top of each other there. Okay, what's nice about a comparative box plot is that I can see right off the bat that it seems like there's a little more spread in the prices for Fairbanks gas. Okay, it goes out a little further. Um, I might have to pay a little bit more. Um, but the big thing that this tells me is the, the length of this box. Okay, I can see that there's much more variability in the middle 50% of prices than in Anchorage. Okay, when I go to Anchorage, I'm going to have a, a there, there's a 75% chance I'll be able to find gas for under four dollars per gallon. Okay, in for Fairbanks, there's a there's a 75% chance that I'll be able to find gas under four dollars and ten cents. Okay, so that's really the big thing that it tells me is that in Fairbanks, I might have a tougher time finding cheaper gas than I will in Anchorage. Um, so that's just one thing I can tell from, um, from the comparative box plots. Um, so if you have one data set, you can always um, use the five number summary to make a box plot. Y you can also compare multiple box plots using a comparative um, box plot. Um, you could also add in a third population if you wanted a fourth population. Sometimes you'll also see where this axis is turned so it's a vertical axis and then the box the box plots go vertical. So they'll go top to bottom instead of left to right. So that has been the tutorial on box plots. Thanks for watching.